It's not uncommon for homeowners to see activity from pest animals like raccoons, rabbits, or rodents. We want them gone, but we don't necessarily want them hurt. That's where live traps come in. So in this video, we'll show you how to use humane live traps for effective and safe animal control. If you'd like to shop the professional products in this video and learn even more about live trapping, click the icon on the top right of the screen or click the links in the description below. Live trapping is a safe and efficient method of animal control. The animals captured in the live trap can easily be relocated away from the property unharmed, but trap and release laws differ depending on your area, so check in with local authorities before utilizing trap and release methods. The first steps for properly using live traps is identifying what kind of animal you're experiencing and where their activity is seen. While it can be difficult to know exactly what you're dealing with, there are signs that will indicate you are seeing animal activity. Check for animal activities such as footprints left in dirt, damaged or chewed plants, tracks left behind in dense grass or foliage, and droppings left by animals. These signs can be especially helpful in determining hotspots or popular routes that animals may take when foraging. Most animals are nocturnal, so you'll notice some activity after dark. Rodents and raccoons will usually forage at night, in yards, garages, attics, or basements. If activity is seen or heard during the day, it could be something like a squirrel. If you have fruits or vegetables in your garden, they may be targets for wildlife. You can also spot signs of foraging around trash cans or pet food bowls if left outside. While most wild animals will stay outside your property away from humans, it's not uncommon to find wildlife inside. To find animal activity indoors, look for signs like droppings or disturbed trash. You can also listen for sounds in your garage, attic, or basement. You may need to wait until nightfall when most animals would be active. Before trapping, make sure that you wear personal protective equipment, especially gloves, not only to protect yourself when setting the trap or releasing an animal, but will also prevent you from transferring your scent to the trap or bait. Make sure your trap is the appropriate size. A trap too small won't catch the animal, while a trap too large may offer the animal a chance to escape. The trap should be big enough for most of the animal's body to fit before being triggered. You'll want to set the trap where you've seen most of the animal activity, as noted during your inspection. This will typically be along the edge of your property, near dense foliage, or close to food and water. Be sure to place the trap in the shade out of direct sunlight to avoid overheating the animal. Once you've placed your trap, you need to then use a bait. The bait you use will differ depending on the animal you're trapping. For instance, raccoons will be attracted to sweets like marshmallows, while something like a possum will be attracted to a strong smelling food like canned fish. If you're not sure which animal you're trying to trap, you can also use peanut butter as it's cheap and it's liked by a variety of animals. To arm the trap, first open the trap door by pushing on the door lock and lifting the door. Keep the door lifted while pulling the trigger arm forward to set it. You'll know the trap is set when the trigger arm's hook catches the door. The door will now be held open and is ready for wild animals to enter. Place your bait at the end of the trap behind the trigger plate. This is important, as it'll force the animal deep into the trap where they'll come into contact with the trigger plate. The majority of the animal's body must be inside the trap before it's triggered for a successful capture. Once you've set and baited your trap, check the trap twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Constantly being near the trap and checking it often will potentially dissuade animals from approaching the trap. Be sure not to keep an animal trapped for more than 24 hours. Once you've captured your desired animal in your live trap, place a towel over the cage to avoid frightening the animal. Carefully open the trap and then release the animal. Once you've successfully trapped your animal, there are a few preventative measures you can take to make sure you don't have another animal problem. Keep trash outdoors and in sealed containers. Remove any clutter or debris from your property as this could be used by animals for nests or burrows. Check the property for spots that retain water. Any potential food sources such as pet food should be properly sealed in a container or stored away. To prevent animals from entering your home, be sure to check the structure for any voids. Check around your windows and doors to make sure they seal properly. Be sure to check your fence perimeter and repair any damage you find. Wild animals pose a risk to our property and health, but we can humanely control them with professional grade products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn. We guarantee these products will help you safely remove wild animals from your property, and we offer same day shipping so you can get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. If you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.